And what's up again, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the third race of the night here as we're kicking off week number eight. So again, welcome in. We got ourselves another great matchup. A couple of division leaders, both five and one so far on the season. We flip on over. We got Trainwreck JP on the left-hand side, your Buffalo Bills. Like I said, five and one so far. Facing off on the right-hand side against Mr. I Casper, your New Orleans Saints. Again, both of them five and one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Both looking to stay atop their division. Casper's got himself a little bit more of a challenge with Mellow Ace right on his heels. Trainer, I got a little bit more breathing room, but both need this win very badly. Both want that sixth win here. So, again, they both had a pretty good run up to this point, but one of them's going to get their second loss tonight. So, again, for those just joining in or just seeing this for the first time, we race best two out of three through the womb, two. Again, here's a link of all the items you cannot take. The bottle tell you here in picture form. Uh, coming up real quick. There you go. No Dr. Fetus, no Epic Fetus, Ipecac, Dead Sea Scrolls, Holy Bible, Toothpicks, or the Shovel. The Toothpicks you can take, but you can re-roll them if you want to. They're the only special case. Everything else, you either have to roll it or leave it at that point. So, everybody knows about that. Excuse me. And again, uh, we're using a football schedule, the NFL, so that's why you're seeing Buffalo and New Orleans. Makes a little more sense that way. Again, these two are on a call. Let me get you a link into both of their channels. You can hear them talking to each other. You should be fine, crazy. And there's a link to get into both of their channels. Like I said, wish them both good luck here. They're both going to need it. They're both looking for win number six and not to get lost number two. So, again, whenever they're ready, they're going to take off. Try to race down through beating Mom's uh, heart at the end of womb two. Whoever does that gets a point at the bottom of the screen. Uh, we do a best two out of three. So, we'll reset both racers right back here to basement one at that point and start from scratch again with a one to nothing lead on one side. And, again, we'll do that a best two out of three. So, it's not going to be over right away. What's this football you speak of? It's about these feats balls. It's it's hand egg. Let's put it that way. I don't know why we call it that. Anyways, we're off and running. So again, good luck to both. Oh, that's just trolling. So trainer, I can immediately find in the poop, though making up for it with the guardian angel, a double speed orbital in his curse room, and how about spider bite slowing effect on his shots in his cur or in his uh, uh seeker room? I take it back. We got little gish also showed up. Excuse me, so a follower for Casper that's going to shoot out tar balls. You'll actually see that most likely hit the boss, Steven, here. There you see that uh, that blackened effect will actually slow down the movement speed and shot speed of enemies. So also do damage to it. Very nice friend there. Got a little bit of range up for uh, Trainwreck, and he's going to get the Widow. So again, both in the same room. Train's got a pretty nice build brewing already. Yeah, oh wow, that hand egg. <laughs> What's up, Spring Fart? How you doing? I just want to point out, I took out quite a few of your scores in BitTrip the other night, so I'm getting there. Oh, speaking of, oh, wow, we got some nice runs going. The damage up tumor for, uh, or Steven, I should say, on the right side for Casper. The rarer of the two items off of that boss fight. So a little damage up and moving on to basement two, just slightly ahead of Trainwreck. Who's taking out Widow, just got one more spider to take out here. And Squeezy, so a little bit of health up and fire rate increase for him. So again, both on the same floor. Hey, I was proud of it. I'm going to take my uh, my bragging rights where I can. You and your ridiculous dance time. Seriously. <laughs> I'm going to have to cast that a little bit later or something. Like, I'm re-addicted to it now, so... Figured I'd point that out. Either way, a couple extra keys here for Casper. Up to five already on a second floor. You don't see that too often. It's happened a few times tonight, though. So, again, quite a few of the same uh, looking runs. I don't want to call them the same runs, but they look kind of the same. Eh, Guppy's tail, probably a little too early for that. If that were Casper's side, he would have taken it. Trainwreck, however, going to pass on uh, Guppy's tail, which would have basically made it nothing but uh, locked chest spawns and no keys. And I know Casper, with a key into his item room, going to pick up a uh, Roid Rage. That'll uh, very much multiply his movement speed. You can see he's flying around now. Yep, it's actually, I think, $1.24 on Steam right now, if you check out on the front page. And yeah, I think you just called me Cobalt. <laughs> That'd be the other racer. Well, the other race. I don't race. I say that like I'm one of them. But you get the idea. That's one of our racers. But yeah, I'm Crumps. <laughs> all good, though. I know what you meant. People do that all the time. It's kind of funny. I have no problem being called Cobalt. That means I have more skill at Isaac than I think I do. So I'm good here. I'm good here. If I'm better than I think I am, awesome. <laughs> so a little bit of health up on Casper's side. Ooh. We were talking about this item earlier, the nail. Casper's going to buy it for the cost of two hearts. That'll up your damage when you use it and give you one blue soul heart. So he'll easily make back that hull. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that again. 
Yeah, who's this Krubs guy? Yeah. <laughs> so there you see the uh, nail usage. Casper getting one blue heart out of it. Also, his uh, tears have actually turned to red. He also gets to walk over every block here. So free uh, item rock for him as well. And I don't know why he's trying to avoid everything. He can just walk right over every rock. D6 is only allowed against the uh, the banned items. So there are seven quote-unquote deadly sins. Let me list them out for you here. The bot will show you what you can use them against. Only against those seven banned items can the D6 be used. Other than that, it's basically just holding on to it. But we've seen quite a few of those come in very handy. Uh, Full Metal Gambit last season had a uh, quite the affinity for finding Bibles, having his D6, using it, and then rolling it into a Sacred Heart. He did that twice. So uh, they've turned out very well from time to time. But we, we just wanted to make it so that if you came across one of the banned items, you could at least do something with it. Absolutely. We can give you the wiki link. There you go. Bot will have that for you momentarily. We use PlatinumGod.co.uk. Check that out. Enable all the cards and the trinkets as well on there. Hover over the items, and it's got a really ridiculously good uh, set of uh, info on everything. You'll love that site. Oh, and we've seen the Bible re-roll into the Bible probably a good 10 to 15 times this year. <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty brutal. Uh, the Bible is not really being nice so far. Not like it was before. All right, so Casper going to make a choice here momentarily. He's got a Caves XL and found both of his boss fights. Again, real quick, Trainwreck finding a eh, deck of cards. Again, not the greatest of space use items, although getting a pretty decent card. So again, that'll give you a card every couple of rooms. You'll see him get those. Strength card will up all of your stats by one for Trainwreck. Again, Casper, though, has back-to-back -back boss fights now in his Caves XL. He's only found one of the two item rooms, though. So we'll see if, for time's sake, he's willing to skip over one of them. Yeah, don't forget about the one time the Bible rolled into the Bible, which rolled into the Bible. Yeah. So we get a little bit of range up. Uh, Casper going to move on to his second boss fight. And again, we'll see right after Green Peep, who he's going to use that nail against. So a little bit of extra damage and a health up, for that matter. Casper may be okay without the item, though. We'll see. He may want that advantage. We got Trainwreck finding his Caves XL boss fights as well. So again, we're going to see the exact same issue on both sides. Do they both skip one item room? Oh, maybe not. Oh, that worked out well. I was going to say, maybe not the best time to accidentally pick up a card, but that worked out really decently for Trainwreck as he killed off the flies Gertie had spawned. Perfect timing. <laughs> that was great. All right, so Casper finishing off... Uh, Peep here, getting a little bit of health up and shot speed increase. Oh my. Also with a very nice devil deal. Yeah, that head tilt says it all. Brimstone, why thank you for the first time tonight. A big shot changer. He's going to move on to depths one. And yeah, he does skip that item room. No question at this point. You'll see as soon as we get some enemies exactly what Brimstone does. You'll see why Casper's happy right now. All right, train wreck about halfway through Gertie. A little bit over so at this point. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, that's ridiculous game-changing damage right now. Polyphemus also for Casper. Um, wow. The damage on that Brimstone on Casper's side is now just filthy, filthy, filthy strong. There you see it, though, going all the way across the screen, spewing blood. It's got infinite range. Polyphemus basically added nothing but damage onto it, and a lot of it. So, Trainwreck's got a lot of catching up to do right here. He's in a lot of trouble right now. Oh, yes, Polyphemus stacks on Brimstone. Absolutely, it does. All right, Golden Key also for Casper means that he has an infinite amount of key usages. And there you see, there's two ticks that you normally get off of Brimstone. That's perfectly normal. Brim snapping, which a lot of people have questioned, is that outlawed? Cobalt Streak found a way, and again, it's been found before, but Cobalt found a way to really abuse it. Uh, and then we found a way to abuse it even further afterwards with testing. Uh, but there is a way that you can actually fire up to four times with Brimstone if you cheat it. And it's obvious when you do, but that is outlawed. That has been a big question. And Wow, seriously? And the small rock for Casper. More damage up, fire rate increase, and movement speed decrease. And he's stuck behind a rock. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, if he gets stuck right there, he's going to be so mad. But moving on, wow, you've got to be kidding me. Did Cobalt get six one time? Dear God. We've seen it up to four ourselves. But yes, Brim Snapping is banned. All right, full card would teleport you back to the entrance room of the floor. Yeah, get all the damage up in the span of one floor, sir. Get damaged. Get damaged. All right, sun card. Again, we've seen that a few times. Train Rex can have a full-on map reveal, full-on red heart heal, and damaged everything in the room whenever he uses that.
All right, Casper making very good use of his time, picking everything up that he can, getting a bunch of keys and uh, bombs. Also, very nice charge usages here. One bomb for uh, four free ones, absolutely, plus three. Ooh, Trainer finding a dead end, definitely not what he wants here. Casper's got to be heading towards this boss fight. Indeed he is. So this last empty room, right on Ido Depths 1 boss fight, Casper's got Gish again. So he's already got little Gish following him. Kind of weird that you'd see Gish show up. Normally this would be the reward off of this boss fight. Instead he's going to get a little range up, which is not useful. Range up with Brimstone, you already have max range. So whatever, it's there. He's got it. Woohoo. Uh, apparently Casper doesn't want to be in that dead end room. Says absolutely no thanks. Teleports right out with that uh, fool card. And moving right on along. Yeah, that damage. Think about that. Think about this damage at the moment. Polyphemus, uh, let's see, small rock, nail usage on that one. He's doing okay for himself. And how about the miter? Now you got a 50% chance that any red heart spawn comes up as a blue soul heart, so it makes it a lot easier to pick up. As you notice, Casper's only got the one red heart container right now. Blue soul hearts, you can pick up an infinite amount of. They will continue off screen. Hey, Super Pride. Bye, Super Pride. Hey, you know what, Dead Cat? Uh, you have one heart. You may consider that later on. Hell, you may consider that right now. How about a bunch of money out of a locked chest for Casper? I don't think Casper even wants to look at that dead cat, quite honestly. At this point, though, it uh, may not be a terrible thing. Oh, chocolate milk would nerf your damage, actually, at this point. They they fixed the, uh, I don't want to call it a glitch, but they fixed the damage uh, ratio with chocolate milk and brimstone. So it's nowhere near as good as it used to be. Technically, at that point, uh... Jeez, I can't do math. It'd be Yant. You only live nine times. Ooh, how about an external compass? So we joke that Casper, of all people in the league, we joke about his internal compass. Uh, Casper now has an external compass, so he's going to be able to see, as you can tell on his minimap, where he's headed. He won't be able to tell the floor layout itself, but he'll be able to tell what direction the boss fight, item room, things of this nature are in. So that's a huge help. One more room to clear, and then he's going to have his mom's heart fight here. So it'll be one full-on floor ahead of Trainwreck, who is halfway through his Monster O2 fight. You can see he's doing a... I don't want to call this a glitch, but you get him caught in a pattern. Watch the head. One, two. Move to the other side. One, two. Move to the other side. One, two. Move to the other side. Keep that going. He never moves. Yeah, three Soul Hearts. That's because of the... Uh, again, he had one Red Heart spawn out of that DJ. So because he had the Miter, that was a 50% chance it turned into a Blue Heart and did. And yes, this is live. What's up, Matt? <coughs> Excuse me. And again, if you guys want to see the uh, link into both of the racers' channels, there you go. Now, oh, Casper didn't forget a blue rock. He just doesn't care about it at this point. Just like item rooms at this point, if Casper were to have any, he wouldn't care. He's got more than enough on his build. I mean, just look at it. He one-hits everything. He's got more than enough health. Casper's just looking to finish it off here. So again, in a race situation, we're not looking necessarily... And I know a lot of people are going to be like, why would you not just take it, though? Like, again, I understand completely, like, it would be most likely a little bit of health up in there. But again, Casper just looking to get through these boss fights. He's already got more than enough health, way more than enough damage. And even that, that chest right there, he could have taken, but why? Honestly, why? There's no need. Because he's just going to massacre everything in his path right now, and there's just really no need for anything. And there you see him. No need for those pills either. He isn't even going to bother with that devil deal because there's nothing that he could possibly want. He'll move right on to Womb 2 and he's just looking to finish it off. Race situations, a little bit different than your normal runs, guys. So it's always a little bit weird, especially to get used to when you see a uh, racer skipping over item rooms or skipping over, you know, a, an obvious soul rock. Something like, I'm sure Casper saw it. Ooh, how about a habit? Judgy, thank you. I was about to say, can we get a Judgy, please? But how about the habit for Trainwreck? Won't help him out immensely. It would help out Casper uh, much more than it would help Trainwreck right now. But, as you notice, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, very nice sun card usage also, by the way, there by Trainwreck. I'm surprised he used it there, but he needed to play catch up. Ooh, now he's going to really regret using that as he's going to get an XL floor, I think. Uh-oh. Did Trainwreck get an XL? Is it possible? Could this be even closer? Either way, uh, Habit the Trainwreck God basically gets it so that if he gets hit twice per room, he gets a full-on charge on his space use item. Half per hit. So that can actually make you invincible depending on what items you got there. Again, case in point, Casper, just in, I just want to find uh, the end of the floor run. Or the end of the floor mode, I should say, skipping over those bombs. 
Ooh, no such luck. Curse of Darkness, though, again for Trainwreck. Both have a Curse of Darkness right now. We'll not see their mini-maps. And again, that's hurting Casper more than anybody. He's actually got the compass. So no use out of that. Curse of Darkness overwrites both treasure map and the compass. Uh, somebody will be running a timer, I'm sure. But it's been pretty quick so far. We're, I think, sub-13 minutes at the moment. It's going pretty darn quick. Ooh, and speaking of that, speaking of going quick, Casper having finished off his floor into his mom's heart fight. Wow, look at that. Just one swing. He doesn't even have the nail used yet, and he already did over a quarter damage. That's insane. Oh, little Gish actually knocked his bomb out of the way for him, but it isn't even going to matter. Look at this damage just melting right off of mom's heart. Nail? What nail? Who needs a nail? Yeah, Trainwreck's just resetting. He already knows. Lo and behold, Casper, a one to nothing lead on a filthy fast run right there. That had to be about 13 minutes. I don't have the timer handy, and I don't see it live on either of their streams, but there we go. There we go, sub-14 minutes. I was going to say about 13, 14 minutes, and there you have it. Sub-14 for Casper. Wow. Very nicely done on that run. All that damage in that brimstone side-by-side -side was just... Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. So Casper's got himself a one to nothing lead. You can see we're going to reset both of these two right now. Give me about one minute here. We'll let these two reset, and I'll be right back on the other side of the ads here. So again, thank you very much for the uh, support. We'll get you the link into both of their channels. There it is already. Thank you very much, Tippin. And, uh, excuse me, go say what's up to both of those guys. Tell them both great run, and we'll be right back for round number two momentarily. Alrighty, again, I don't have my dashboard telling me when the ads are clear, but we should be clear. That should have been a full-on minute, give or take, if not even more, so just playing it safe. Either way, though, we should be back and uh, about ready to go here for round number two between iCasper, who has a one to nothing lead over Trainwreck JP. And again, uh, Trainwreck going to look to even this up and one game apiece for a pivotal game three. And Casper going to look to either win this one or the next and finish off the night with two wins here and get himself his sixth victory of the season. And again, good luck to both racers. They are on a call together. Let me get you a link into both of their channels so you can hear them and uh, watch them side by side. Definitely give them the support, by the way, guys. I will never take offense to you leaving the channel to go say what's up to the racers to any other channel for that matter. So never feel bad. Like, I, that's the whole point. Let's spread the love. So go say what's up to those guys. And again, wish them both good luck on this one. We're going to race through Mom's Heart again. Whoever gets a mom kill on their account that either is either mom's heart or excuse me or the devil in this case we've seen that happen before it'll happen again i'm sure but you need a mom kill on your account to have it be legit but again whoever gets that first going to get a point at the bottom of the screen we'll move on from there again casper looking for a two nothing win train wreck looking even it up one at uh, uh, one apiece here i should say so again good luck to both they'll take off whenever they're ready because they are in a call and uh best of luck to you both now i live just outside chicago Yep, last race of the night here. So not necessarily this one. That's It's last race if Casper wins this one. If Trainwreck wins it, we got one more between these two. And again, off and running just at equal times. Ooh, we got a reset on the left, but we got the halo for Casper. Nice start. All stats increased by one, so nice find on that one. I think its range does not go up. I could be wrong, though. I'm going to have to check that one. Nope, actually, Aurora. I know where Downers Grove is, though. I know it well. 
All right, couple of resets here for Trainwreck. He's looking for an item room off the bat. There we go. All right, yeah, Wiggle Worm, not the greatest thing ever, that's for sure. No, thank you. Yeah, Trainwreck getting trolled by the RNG at the moment. RNG being a random number generator for anybody curious. I know that's always a question. Going into another curse room. Yeah, getting trolled. Nothing but spiders. How about that small rock again for Casper? Jeez. Damage up, tier rate increase, and movement speed decrease. So you see red tiers on the first floor. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, let's try random number god. That may be more accurate. Ooh, very nice timing on that bomb once again. Wait until pin completely disappears, drop a bomb, stand still, wait for him to reappear, and then move. You'll kill him instantly just like that. Great job by Casper. And he's moving on to his second floor. Train wreck resetting again as he is not getting items here. Ouch. Not Willowbrook. Very nice. I actually grew up in Geneva. So I'm a uh, Geneva boy, basically. But yeah, I live in Aurora now. Lived here pretty much all my life, though. So train wreck with a very well-placed bomb. We'll see what he gets off of this item room. Hopefully, being that he's got his boss fight right here, it'll be something good. Ah, Mr. Mega. Not bad. Five extra bombs and blast damage increase. So you'll see, or blast radius, I should say, increase. You'll see this be a lot larger bomb. There you go. Note that that is not the size of a normal bomb. Steven gonna get rocked by this. Yeah, at this point, like, knife, brimstone, something. Please. Oh, speaking of Mr. Mega, how about we see it again? Side by side, Mr. Mega's now. So exact same item. Five more bombs for Casper as well. And again, little Steven following around uh, train wreck at this point. Gonna follow, or shoot those, uh, excuse me, purple homing tears out. Oh, all those locked chests. Oh, Casper actually opened it, I'll be darned. So at least he got a little bit of a heal out of it, if nothing else. We got train wreck looking at his second item room. Casper just walking into his uh, boss fight here. And then Mr. Mega Hype. Ooh. I'm surprised, I was going to say I'm surprised he didn't take it at first, but Monstro's Tooth will actually replace uh, the D6 for Trainwreck JP. That'll call down Monstro to do damage to anything it lands on. A little bit of health up for Casper, he'll move on to his Caves 1. Uh, again, you'll see that probably against the boss for Trainwreck. He also picked up Pushpin, which gives him a chance that you'll see a kind of gray tier come out from him. That's going to have, uh, there you go, you saw one right there. It has Piercing Ability and, um, I can never think of the name, Ouija uh, Spectral Tier. Uh, ability on it, so it's going to be able to go through rocks and things of that nature, but we'll also pierce enemies and continue moving. Alright, so moving on along, like I said, Casper in Caves 1, a very slight advantage right now as Trainwrecks come across this boss fight. What's up, Neo? How you doing? Greetings from Wayne's World, as I like to say. And yes, if you guys have ever seen the movie Wayne's World, that's the town I live in, I swear. Laugh, feel free, don't care. Got, oh, there we go. Very nicely done. So again, the uh, not new trick per se, but new to me. Uh, if you walk out of the room placing one of the bombs in the little corner like that, like Casper just did, you're going to be able to get into the center of those where it normally takes you two bombs. So very nice done. Or very nicely done, I should say. Hit party on, death. Thank you, Galaxy. And again, thank you everybody for coming out tonight and supporting everybody, including both of the racers, so please hit both of them up. Here's a split link to get into both of their channels. Please do that. Again, it's all about spreading the love in this one. Like, everybody was asking before, like, what do you think about Cobalt stealing viewers? Like, he isn't stealing viewers. He's broadcasting this and promoting it. Like, he asked about it. It's totally cool. But yeah, it's all about the love and, you know, spreading the love and everybody having a good time. And I literally, like, that's what it's all about here. So you guys are helping that a ton. It's been a blast, seriously. You guys are absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for absolutely everything this year. And we're not even halfway through it yet, and it's only going to get better. Just, uh, so good. So we got a little chat as a result of the chat fight. Go figure. For Casper. Oh, wow, really? And again, yeah, why not? Brimstone for Casper. We totally haven't seen this happen before. Anybody want to call his next item room right now? Anybody want to say Polyphemus? Because I swear if it is, I'm just, we're going to the casino. If it is, we're going to the casino, guys. Seriously. I, I live right next to one. I will go there right now. Yep. Ah, uh, why not? 
But again, Polyphemus uh, would be a little bit crazy if that shows up again. Last time, it really made the damage difference. You can see how this time the ticks are actually counting for something against every enemy. Uh, not quite the same damage output, but still very good with Brimstone. He's already got the small rock, does Casper. Uh, so again, he's got pretty good damage going with it. Uh, telepathy for dummies. That would be homing tears, but again, Brimstone doesn't take on homing capabilities. If it did, wow would be my response. That would be a crazy overpowered item. Oh. Okay, well, that, that makes it okay. How about Cancer will double your tier rate, which in this case, halves your charge rate on Brimstone, so Casper will fire twice as quick as he used to. Oh my. Absolutely you can. There's a link for you. If you guys need any other links from me, let me know. Oops, if it actually triggers. Uh-oh. The bot take a minute? The bot may have taken a minute. Oh well. All right, we got the Ankh on the uh, the right side. If Casper were to die, that will bring him back to life as the blue baby with nothing but blue soul hearts. So not a uh, half bad find. It's kind of like the one up, but a little riskier. All right, Trainwreck still just looking for this item room here. At, at this point, he may be happy enough just to find his boss fight, quite honestly. Again, he's also got the small rock hanging out of his head. I should have pointed that out a little bit sooner. There's both boss fight and item room. Yeah, that hourglass. How about get trolled by the random number generator, sir? Into his boss fight, though, so moving on to his husk. Ooh, Monstro one hit him. Very nice. That's where Monstro's tooth comes in. Very handy. A little bit of range up with Mom's underwear. And moving on, Casper, or I'm sorry, uh, Casper and Trainwreck now both on the same floor. And it's actually just Tiger. There you go. That's the one you're looking for. So again, Casper finding his boss fight here finally at the end of the floor. Had to full clear it, but he isn't going to complain too much. Again, on the same floor that Trainwreck is, but Trainwreck just starting it out. Alright, so Pestilence will be the first of many of the... Uh, I can't believe we haven't seen any Famine now that I think about it. Wow. Either way, uh, the first of the Horseman fights is going to wind up producing a cube of meat for Casper that will wind up being an orbital floating around him, blocking shots. The more and more he picks up, we'll turn on into full-on Meat Boy. We'll get there when we get there. Can you see a little chat spawning some red hearts? That half a red heart spawn for Casper. Doesn't need it, though. Takes the full red one. Going to move on to Depths 1. Curse of Darkness and Necropolis. Oh, and Ultra Pride. Say hi to Edmund and Florian. As we like to call them. It's basically what it's modeled after, but say hi. Either way, though, uh, ripping on through at Brimstone, pretty overpowered for this fight. Casper will not be able to see his mini-map, though. Curse of Darkness will override either compass and or treasure map if you happen to have them. Yeah, Brim snapping is banned. Yes, it is. All right, Trainwreck finally coming across this boss fight. Still hasn't seen his item room, though, so again, with no key, we're going to have to see what he chooses to do here. He may just skip on over it, because again, it's kind of a risk. Unless he happens to get a key to spawn here, then it makes it worthwhile, guaranteed to bomb into the center. But we'll have to see. Again, he may just go on to his boss fight and try to catch up. He knows he's behind and has to catch up to Casper here. He needs this win. No question, cannot lose this one. Brim snapping, basically you're, you kind of mash the button as you fire and it shows you firing in a different direction than you actually are. And you actually do like twice to four times the normal amount of shots that you should. Excuse me. And it's really obvious when you're doing it too, so it'd be blatantly obvious if somebody were doing it. It looks like, I've done stuff where you can fire off in two directions and you still only do damage in the one. But I don't keep spamming in the same direction. Yeah, see, like, Casper basically was just doing it right there. That was Brim snapping. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Um, again, look on the left side for Trainwreck. He was basically Brim snapping right there. You can see how he kind of, like, did that no fire, but you can see his mouth moved uh, side to side. That's basically what it is. Uh, you still fire in whatever direction you originally went for, but as you spam the button more, you're actually doing more ticks of Brimstone. And Cobalt doesn't have a race this week, actually. He's, this is his one-off week throughout the season, so he's going to have uh, races the rest of the season once a week. But this is his off week. And again, we got Casper with another item room boss fight combination side by side. Wow. And Monstro's Tooth showing up. So again, good way to replace your D6. We got it on both sides. You've seen Trainwreck using it so far. Casper will probably put it to use here. Speaking of Cobalt, let's see those Mr. Cools as Loki shows up. Again, Monstro uh, kind of ripping on through Loki there. Very nicely done. All 
All right, stem cells, health up, and it would be a shot speed increase. Again, doesn't really help with brimstone too much, but Casper moving on to depths two after that. There's those Mr. Cools. Gotta love that emote. Again, that's one of our racer's uh, Cobalt Streaks. It's one of his subscriber-only emotes. So if you guys are uh, into Binding of Isaac and you're like really, really cool places to hang out, go check out Cobalt Streaks. And uh, if you want to subscribe, you get a bunch of cool Isaac-based emotes off of it. Yeah, both have Mr. Mega, both have the Small Rock. Uh, let's see, both have Monstro's Tooth. Now, if only Trainwreck could get something like Brimstone. That would be handy. How about Demon J Demon Judgy, please? Demon Judgy Pretty, please? Oh, you're... Come on, man, this isn't cool. Come on, Demon Judgy, that's just not fair, man. All right, so nothing good off of that. Kane's Eye, and eh, not the worst thing. 25% chance that when you go to a new floor, it'll show you a compass effect and let you know where everything's at. Yeah, but you don't get this one. <laughs> Nom. <laughs> no, this is uh, the, the last race of the first night of the week. If you guys want to see the schedule, uh, go to the front page of boiler.org. We'll get the link for you here. And check out the lower right side of the page. You'll see everything else coming up for the rest of the week. We got plenty more. I think we still have 12 more races this week. No, less than that. 11, 10, something like that. Either way, Greed getting ripped to shreds there in the last store by Casper. Now, the funny part is he got the Steam sale, which would have the cost of anything for sale for Casper. Now, like I just pointed out, that's his last store. So that's kind of a trolling item right there. Ooh, train wreck down to half a heart here. Uh, those Colobins being a little trolly. Yeah, that useless steam sale. Ah. Oh, how about some homing bombs? Five more bombs on train wreck side, so he's up to eight again. But homing effect on his bombs with Poppy Bomb. Again, that comes in very handy, especially if you get something like Dr. Fetus and it turns your uh, tears into bombs. Yeah, that comes in real handy. Speaking of useless steam sales, how about the one for 15 cents in train wreck store? Yeah, no thanks. Uh, last item room, how about the Yum Heart for Casper? Not the greatest thing. That would heal you for one full red heart every couple of rooms. He's going to hang on to it for safety's sake. Might as well keep the heal with you instead of the damaging item. You've already got Brimstone. Might as well keep the heal. And again, that was the accidental like, oh, it looks like I fired a second direction. You would have seen the extra ticks if it was there. So, no, that was not Brim Snapping. That was accidental like, I've done that version right there so many times. It doesn't do anything special when it when it works that way. You'll see the extra ticks when it happens. And it'll be obvious if somebody's trying to do it. Because they'll be sitting there and it'll just glitch, 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 shoot, 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 shoot. It's obvious. So, believe me, that was not Brim Snapping right there. Even though it kind of might have looked like it. Don't worry about that stuff. I've done that. It's harmless. Just letting everybody know before everybody freaked out on Casper or anything. He, what he did there, perfectly fine. <laughs> How's it, Mizzou? How you doing? So, got anybody just joining in? And we got our last race of the night. Still doing the best two out of three. We got Casper in the lead right now, one to nothing, working on his mom's foot fight. Again, working with Brimstone for the second straight race. He had a very overpowered Brimstone Polyphemus build last time. He's got cancer with it now, so half charge time, if nothing else. A little bit of damage up on both sides with Small Rock. And uh, other than that, yeah, Trainwreck just looking for any sort of game changer down at uh, basically two full hearts. This won't help him, though. Going to get War this time. Champion War, for that matter, so a little extra health on him. Let alone wait for the bomb spawns. There they are. So finishing off the uh, Mom's Foot Fight, Casper going to get Squeezy. A couple extra Soul Hearts and a uh, Fire Rate increase. Also a uh, Loading Screen Error going into the Womb. Now this could help out a ton. There you see it moving. Don't hit anything if you get one of these. Don't mess with Flash. It's just pushing itself really hard. But just let it happen. Oh, wow, really? I thought Trainwreck was clear of that. War said, no, you're not. War wanted hugs. War got hugs. So Trainwreck down all the way back to the beginning. Casper going through this loading screen now with a very large lead. All right, going through, only getting a Utero 1 out of it. So again, full on map here. He's got the expansion version of the floor, and he's got two floors left to go. Looking for a 2 nothing win if he can get through this fine mom's heart. But again, Trainwreck got trolled by the random numbers on that one, let alone uh, uh, not just on the boss fight there. I, the entire run, he was not getting items that were in any way, shape, or form worthy of taking, but he had to go with them. I mean, he knew that he was behind. He had to go with them and try to get that advantage. So he did the best that he could with that one. And with the stuff handed to him, he did great up until that champion war just trolled him and wanted hugs. It's going to happen sometimes. Joe, what's up, dude? 
How you doing, sir? Ooh, how about a little more damage? Yeah, we'll take that instead. Plus two damage, basically, effectively, with the uh, Curved Horn for Casper, so it's gonna up the charge time. It's gonna take longer to charge that Brimstone. But Casper's got himself plus two damage on it now, so even more damage. Get carried again, sir. I love it. Good to see you, man. Yeah, the Small Rock's a really awesome item. If you can deal with the, uh, the speed down off of it, it's okay, then. And, uh, Killer, I saw the question there. Uh, the reason that we don't allow the banned items to be picked up is just basically that they're banned. There's a few of them that you can't pick up and put back down, so we just lumped them all into the category of don't even take them. Yes, I. Why not? <laughs> Love it. So, again, we got our new item room here for uh, Train Wreck. We'll find out what he gets momentarily. Ooh, how about that Horror Babylon? Yeah, not a good thing to start with. If this were Casper in this case, and let's say that you got Guppy's Paws, well, that'd be a great item. Ooh, speaking of great things, how about Judgy Please on... Ooh, we took a little damage. I would have just flown in there. Either way, a little bit of damage, but Judgy Please on Casper's side, if you would. Two of clubs will double up the amount of bombs he's got. 18 now. How about Mom's Purse? Yes, please. So, he's going to go back and pick up... Because I believe it's on this floor... Um, I... Wow, he's not going to? Isn't it on this floor, guys? Isn't his, uh... Cancer on this floor? Maybe I'm crazy, but anyways, try Acnid fight. We'll see what he does after this fight, but I swear it's on this floor. Uh, Casper's got two trinket spots now. <clears throat> yeah, it is. Okay, so that would double up his charge time, or half his charge time, I should say. So, I would probably go back for that. Ooh, speaking of things I would not take, uh, we got Lord of the Pit and the Nine Lives Cat for Trainwreck and his Devil Deal. Not the greatest things. Speaking of Devil Deals, Casper are going to look in his. Now, this I would... Wow, okay. Whoa, wow, really? I would have taken the Pact, honestly. I would have taken the Charge Time and the uh, the Damage Up on the Pact. But, wow, speaking of Damage Up, how about Max has had to start a new run there for Trainwreck, so he's off and running. Maybe too little too late, though. Casper's going to go back pick up Cancer. That's going to give him half the charge time on this Brimstone. I can't believe he didn't take the pack, though. He just wants the extra health. Might as well play it safe. But again, there's Cancer. You see the uh, the second trinket spot on the left side being filled up there. That's going to have the charge time on Brimstone for Casper. Ipecac takes a lot of getting used to. Very... Uh, I don't want to say a lot of getting used to. You'll get used to it after a while, but it, it took me a good little bit of time. All right, Casper, not going to bother with the pills. I'm not really shocked by that. Many of our racers will not take pills. There's too much of a risk of speed down, you know, range down. Not, well, hell, pretty much at that point, tears down, and in that case, damage down because of it. So it's really just not worth taking them, honestly. Most of them won't even touch them. Yeah, might as well play safe. If you're this far ahead, like, there's a limit to how safe you can be. But might as well play it as safe as you possibly can. Speaking of, because you're going to get rooms like this, where now you're down to just the two hearts. Stay away from Gertie Jr. Oh, wow, that was close. All right, Casper getting through. It does have an arcade, so speaking of playing it safe, yes, please, give me some red hearts. Keep in mind, Casper does have little Chad following him around, so he's going to get a lot of red heart spawns as he clears rooms, but you've got to play it really safe like this. And he's going to try to get some uh, red hearts gambled out. Ooh, how about that? And a blue heart for him, so almost a full-on heal already. Just one red heart shy. That'll be good enough for now. Casper will be back if he needs it. Speaking of hearts, we got an eternal heart sitting in uh, Trainwreck's room right there. That half a white heart, if Trainwreck grabbed it, would only be protected right now by the blue hearts. I just bit my tongue again. Bear with me. Ow. I hate doing that. Either way, that'd be protected by the blue hearts, but kind of risky to pick it up right now. Moving on, I'd also Casper's found with his internal compass this time. Found his boss fight. We'll get to that momentarily as he's ripping through Mom's heart looking for a 2 nothing win. But if Casper or if uh, Trainwreck grabs that and uh, takes it onto the next floor, it'll turn into a full red heart container for him. And again, we got Casper fighting Mom's heart right now. We're already about working on the 50% mark as he's dropping gigantic bombs in the center of the room. There's that 50%. A little bit under, about 40% to go. And it looks like Casper is pushing his way towards a 2 to nothing uh, stomping here as he's gotten Brimstone both runs. Just incredible build so far. He's waiting for these flies to line up slightly better for him. Just like that, one more ought to do it for him. Brimstone, Brimstone all the way. So again, uh, getting carried by the Brimstone. 
Ike Casper's got himself a 2 to nothing victory here, getting himself his sixth victory this season, 6-1 and one now, dropping Trainwreck JP or Buffalo Bills to 5-2, and two, evening things out a lot more in that AFC East. So we are getting some very...